The Bible says to go into all the world and all the nations and break dance. Not really. That's not what it says. Heavenly Father, as I get ready to exercise, I just want to acknowledge you first, Lord. I just love waking up in the morning, letting you know in all my ways, I'm acknowledging you. I put you first, Father. I love when your word says, in all your ways, acknowledge the Lord. I love it when you say, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things shall be given unto you. That's what I'm doing, Father. Before my workout, before I take care of myself, I just want to acknowledge you and let you know that you are my main source in life. I can't do anything without your say-so. So, Lord, I love you. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Woo! I'm fired up. I love it when Pastor Ron Corzine from San Antonio, Texas once said that he is an intentional encourager. That blew me away, and that's what I want to do. All I want to do is encourage, encourage people because growing up, I couldn't tell you that I had much encouragement. I was living my life my way. And that's all I wanted to do. Now, all I want to do is live my life God's way. I saw that in Rocky movie. By the way, you ever wanna come work out with me? You wanna come exercise? I'm here at this facility every day. Just inbox me and let me know if you wanna come. Mornings, nights, whatever. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's what I'm doing. Just trying to build my temple. Trying to work out my body. Because I know I need to work out my heart, my soul, my strength and my mind. In order for me to preach the word, I gotta, I, I gotta get everything ready. I gotta get everything right. So let's continue. put this on my Facebook encouraging stuff be strong and courageous do not fear or be in dread of them for it is the Lord your God who goes with you he will not leave you or forsake you Woo! powerful baby powerful I'm on fire for Jesus Hey, by the way, I know we all go through some difficult times. And, whew, let me tell you, I know about difficult times. So, if you ever need some prayer, you got something weighing you down, relationship, your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, a job issue, anything, inbox me confidentiality baby so just inbox me and I'll pray for you okay in the name of Jesus he's gonna heal everything he's gonna take care of things trust me
pool if only you knew my life. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle, eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That one right there is in, in Isaiah 40, 31. Check it out. You need to, uh, if you don't have one of these, you got to get you one. This is the manual to the way of life. I'm trying to get it, baby. I'm trying. Every day I try. Every day I'm hustling, hustling for God. Look, this video is not about the workout. It's just about kind of letting you know how I live my life with Jesus. I know sometimes, you know, we're working, we're busy with life, and we just don't have time for Jesus. Uh, but you got to make time, you know? So even though I'm exercising, I make time with Jesus. That's actually a pretty good time to talk with him. Uh, I'm able to read his word. I meditate on it while I'm doing these sets or reps or whatever. So there's no excuses, right? So people say, man, I work too much. I've got my kids. Uh, I've got problems and problems and problems. But you know what? Put those problems aside for a bit. Give uh, God your time. Because I bet you, if somebody called you right now and said, Hey girl, what you doing? You want to go to the mall with me? I got some money. I want to go shopping. Bet you what? You'll move everything around just to go shopping with you. With your best friend, right? I know you. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. So, make time for God. The way you would for your other priorities. Make him your first priority, all right? And you know what? I don't have all the answers. So please, please, if you're saying to yourself, who does he think he is? Trying to tell me how to live my life. I ain't telling you. God, God's just here suggesting how you can live your life in a better way. So remember, I never said, it's in my Facebook somewhere. It says, uh, I said I was a Christian. I never said I was Jesus. So I don't have all the answers to everything. I'm learning just like you. So um, come learn with me. This is a great time. Um, in case you're wondering, I know the Bible says like um, when you come to Jesus, it says all the old things have been washed away. Behold, the new things have come. A lot of my old ways, yeah. They're in the past, but break dancing music, whoo, it stayed with me, baby. I love the old school and I love to break dance. I probably won't break dance right now. Yo, Adrian! The movie Rocky gets me fired up. Let's see. I may just have one more. Woo -wee! For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and of love and of self-control. Oh, let me tell you, it's one of the hardest things I've had to do as a Christian, is uh, 
trying to follow everything he says to a T. But it's hard. And instead of really following it that close and every day just telling myself that I'm, I'm a sinner, I'm guilty, and just always condemning myself, you know what? I realize, like, God is not looking for me to be perfect. He's looking at my heart. And he knows my heart. I try and I try. I fail and I fail. But every day, I brush it off my shoulders, I shake it off, and I keep going. That's all you got to do. Just keep going. In case you're wondering, that was just a little warm-up. I'm getting ready to go into the big 45s. No, I'm just kidding. That was a warm-up. I'm going to do a little bit more, but let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for all that you do, all that you've done. Lord, I want to keep following your ways. And although I stumble and fall, I know that as long as I get up, you're going to keep directing my path. You're going to keep showing me the way. I can't do this alone, God, because you know me. This was not me a few years ago. So I need your help. We need your help. My friends on Facebook and anybody that's looking at this and listening, I just want you to know that everything is going to be all right. Put your trust in your Father. Put your trust in Jesus. And he's going to show you. Just ask him. Just ask him, Lord, I need you. Just come into my life. Father, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know that I need to be following you. If this is you, just take a few minutes of uh, your day. Just turn off the radio, turn off the TV. Turn off your phone. Just take a few minutes of your time to just try to talk to God. Listen, because he's speaking to you. He's speaking and speaking to you, but sometimes we don't want to listen. We're too busy. You know? Housewives of Atlanta is on. The Kardashians is on. I ain't got time for Jesus. I'm watching Breaking Bad. You know, the football game is on. I'll talk to Jesus later. No, talk to him today, now. Don't put him off. Don't put him off for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is not guaranteed. God forbid something happens to us in an hour, a few hours from now, this evening, tomorrow morning. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. So just acknowledge God. Put him first for everything. Get your, get your space in the kingdom of heaven. Get your mansion guaranteed. I know God says that if you follow him, he, he's the way and the truth and the life. And if you want to get to heaven, there's only one way to get there. You can't go buy a ticket. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how popular you think you are. I don't, th I don't care how fine you are, baby girl, or how handsome you think you are. The only way to get to God's kingdom is to have a personal relationship with Jesus. And you can do that. You can do that right now. All right? Well, in the name of Jesus, amen. Thanks, y'all. Peace.